Okay, welcome to Linux Music and happy 2014. This time it's going to be another one of the basic things like the AS, the ADSR module we did, uh, Tactic K Sustain Release. This one's on mixers, inserts, sends, aug sends, uh, buses, that kind of thing. So uh, if you're a mixer pro, you can probably uh, skip this, but if some of that stuff is a little confusing to you, then, uh, then let's get started. Okay, let's get started uh, here. This should look familiar. This is what we did last time. We recorded from uh, Seek 24 into Ardor. Here's the drum track, the synth bass, the synth strings. Before we can talk about inserts, sends, buses, and those things, we need to take a quick look at the uh, mixer strip, the channel strips. And you'll notice here's, uh, I've got drum highlighted. Here's its color matches there. You can color code these things anything you want. Here's the name. Notice that it's not hooked to anything right now because we've shut down Seek 24, so now we only have the recorded section. Uh, this is phase, and if you want to discuss that, then you're probably not watching a beginner video. So that, that might be someday years from now. Uh, here is what's in the signal path. Notice right now only the fader. Here's some recording stuff that's duped over here. Here is the same fader. Notice when I move one, the other moves. And here's the level meter, and it goes out to master. So I've got nothing coming in, simply the recording strip out to master. Now, inserts in a digital audio workstation, a software uh, mixer, as, as it were, has it's almost synonymous with plugins. You're go we're going to insert something here. Uh, we'll pick a new plugin and we'll go to the plugin manager and let's look for reverb. And because I have a fondness for uh, the CAF LV2 things, we'll insert that. Uh, all I did, I right clicked here. Uh, did the search, double clicked on the plugin I wanted, and it pops up here. These can be moved before and after the fader simply by grabbing them with a the mouse and moving them. Uh, so, some of these have dramatic differences, uh, pre and post fader. Some have, have uh, very subtle differences. At any rate, let's uh, mute these two tracks. I'm double clicking the calf reverb to uh, bring it up so we can, we can see it. Let's start playing. Notice I have a lot of wet. And we can get pretty cavey with that. I, I hope that you notice that, uh, and, and maybe you didn't, but the, the point of an insert or the point of a, of a plug in here is that everything in this signal path is now going to go through this. Uh, there is no, if there's a dry signal, uh, uh, an unprocessed signal, we're going to manage that with the plugin itself. But everything uh, from this recorded track down to the master is going through this calf reverb. And that's what makes it an insert. It is inserted into the, into the stream. Uh, so let's right-click that, delete it. And I want to show you another thing. We're going to create a bus down here. And... Uh, we'll make a stereo bus and I'm going to call this the flanger bus because we're going to put a flanger on it. And now when I come up here, I right click, I'm going to put a new aug send and I'm going to send it to the flanger bus. What this does is effectively notice this little fader that comes with it. I'd like to send a lot of signal to the flanger bus. What this does is it splits the signal. So now half of the, or the signal unprocessed is still coming all the way down here, or unprocessed except for its main fader. But another signal is coming, and it's going down to the flanger bus. So now what I've really done is, with an aux send, is I've split this drum track into two signal paths. One will continue down here uh, to the master, the other will go out to the flanger bus. So let's take a quick look at the uh, flanger bus. And we'll actually add a flanger to it. And I right clicked, uh, go to the plugin manager. I will 
search for flanger. Oh, there's a beautiful calf flanger. Double click. I'm going to insert it. Now there's a flanger on the flanger bus. So let's let's take another listen to that. Uh, well, let's let's bring up the calf flanger first. And here it is. And so you can see it. We'll play a little bit more here. Okay. Okay, that's pretty much the dry drum track. And there you hear the flanger are coming in. So you see that I, I still have the dry drum track coming down through the master unaltered and the flanger bus. Uh, and I've sent uh, a send out to the flanger bus and the flanger bus is running a flanger. And and uh, we, can, we can run that independently. They both go to the master. Now I want to show you, oh, uh, I do want to just make a mention, new external send uh, in Ardor, at least this version, you can use new external send to send to a bus that you've created, but it's it's generally its use is to send to other outputs to make, say, one mix that might be going to headphones while you're still working on, on this or a monitor mix or something like that. So generally, we don't use uh, external sends in, in an Ardor, or, or I don't. Uh, we want auxiliary sends. Uh, so, again... Anything that's that's in here is let's come back up to a, say a drum uh, a soundtrack. Uh, anything that's in here is coming all the way down. A auxiliary send will send it to the bus, and notice this comes out to the master. The flanger bus also comes out to the master, and we can play with those effects to do whatever it is that we need to do. Uh, the last thing I want to show you here is a thing that's, that's kind of similar to that. It's what Arter calls subgroups. I'm going to uh, uh, make a new group, and I'll call it Demo. And we'll hook synth bass to Demo. And we'll hook synth strings to Demo. And now I'm going to right-click this and... I'm going to add a new subgroup bus. Now, notice down here, before I, before I do that, notice down here that synth strings is going to master. When I click add a new subgroup bus, what really happens is that synth strings now goes entirely to demo. Synth bass, because it's part of the group, goes entirely to demo, and demo goes to master. So it's kind of like a combination between an insert and a send. It's a way to uh, affect all the tracks or, or all parts of the track send into the master. Uh, typical use might be if you have three or four voice tracks and some music tracks and you want to run the three or four voice tracks at the same time uh, all through reverb uh, before they go into the master, then you might uh, create a group. Uh, with all the voices in it, run that through, and down here in demo, uh, stick a reverb in here, and that would put reverb on all the voices, leave the instrument tracks dry, uh, but not not route the dry tracks to the to the master bus. So that being said, let's uh, let's come up here to synth bass. Let's get rid of our flanger bus on that. And just to get rid of our flanger bus. And now let's uh, put a flanger in here. Again, double click in the track area. New plugging. Go to plugin manager. There's still from last time. There it is. Let's take a listen. Let's uh, bring up our flanger. and listen to our track. Uh, let's just kind of set this up. Dry amount zero. Okay, no flanging. Uh, 
unmute, unmute, because it won't do us much good to mute those. Uh, now remember, the tracks aren't going dry at all to the master, so you're not, you're hearing just what I'm running through the flanger, as if it were an insert, because it is. Okay, so that's that's that. Uh, well, just to briefly review, uh, anything, an insert is going to deal with everything going from the top to the bottom. Ascend sends it out to something auxiliary, uh, which splits the signal so you can have the wet and the dry process completely differently. Uh, here, when we have these in a group, we can create a subgroup just for that. Uh, or a subgroup, a bus for that subgroup, just uh, that those go into instead of going to the master. And I do, I do want to remind you, if we Alt P, we can always, we can always cheat because we could say, for example, master in and we could go ahead and put in uh, some of these and, and double click them you might remember that from the other time the other thing I want to say is because sometimes this is fairly complicated I mean we, we've got three tracks here and a, and a bus but by the time you get a, a half a dozen tracks or more this can be pretty confusing so if you uh, alt M is the key for mixer and you can see we have all our tracks here We've got the three original tracks, drum, synth, bass, synth strings, the demo track, and then the master. So Alt-M is very handy once you start stacking up some uh, complex stuff. Instead of having to click one at a time, one at a time, one at a time, what if you had 24 tracks here? I mean, it, it can, you know, you're going to go down and click and look at the inserts or sends of each one? No, probably not. But you can Alt-M. Uh, here is the actual mixing board, and you can... Uh, Actually, you can affect these. You can use your sends and, and your your buses and things here. You can uh, uh, use your fades, whatever you need to do. So Alt-M can be very handy uh, when you're in Ardor. So uh, that's pretty much it for this week. I hope you learned something. Uh, these buses uh, using sends and these buses give you an enormous amount of flexibility in these modern digital audio workstations. You go back and you look at your Mackie. Uh, hardware from the old days and you look at this thing and all you want is uh, a little more memory and a little more CPU. So that's it. Enjoy yourself. Okay, well that's it for this week. I hope you learned something. I hope that was clear. As always, any questions, let me know. Here's the versions I'm using. If uh, your stuff doesn't look like my stuff, check this first. And here are the uh, websites where you can find more about uh, this kind of the, the products we're using. Uh, amazing stuff here, so uh, take a look. Have a blast.